All right, guys, Mr. G back with another game review. And as always, I'm going to try and keep these under five minutes. Like a lot of you guys, I have a full time job, wife and kids, so I really don't have time to sit down and watch a long video or play games that are terrible. So what are we doing today? Today we're talking about Generation Zero. What is it? Well, welcome to 1980s Sweden, where everything's a robot and wants to kill you. Things this game does really well. The atmosphere is stupidly immersive. The graphics, just the way the game looks and feels, are absolutely awesome. You're going to find yourself just exploring the world and feeling good about it, although... Once you've seen one house, you've seen pretty much all of them. They look the same on the inside. All right, what's going on in Generation Zero? Well, you give yourself this weird Gopnik-looking goofy character, um, which obviously must be more of a big deal uh, in multiplayer because clothing does not affect your armor or stats in any way. And you're a teenager, you're running around, and you're shooting robots that are trying to kill you. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can try and kill these robots. You can distract them with flares. You can blow them up with gas canisters. Um, but when you start out, the weapons are going to be pretty terrible, and you're going to be scrounging around trying to get better gear, but also figure out what has happened to everybody on the island, which is going to be a huge part of the story. And to me, it brought me back to games I played in the early 2000s, like Stalker, for example, where I was just wandering around, trying to stay alive, trying to find enough bullets to kill the next thing and keep on going. I really enjoyed the way you could come up with interesting situations to take out and kill bots. Um, and I really did enjoy the game. Now, I feel like the story probably could have a little bit more going for it. Uh, I do wish that the inside of every house didn't look the same. But overall, maybe it's because I'm old school. Uh, I enjoyed this game. Um, I really did. Uh, right now, it's on sale for 20% off. Um, but it's still a bit of a spendy title. Uh, if I was to give a true recommendation, I would say wait till this thing is 50% off and then go for it. But if you really like the atmosphere and you like killing robots in the 1980s and wearing Swedish clothing, well then, this might just be the game for you. Alright guys, hope you found this useful and you want more game reviews, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to catch you guys later. Mr. G out.